Hello, today we're going to talk about surface area and volume of regular polygonal prisms. So a prism is a solid geometric figure with two bases that are the same size and shape in parallel planes. On this prism here, your bases are the two hexagons on either side. This 10, the distance between the two bases, that's known as your height. Okay. First thing we need to do is find the area of the base. All right. This is a regular polygon. We know this is 120 degrees. We drop the line down here for the apothem. Okay. This says this is four. Makes this part here two. That's 120 degrees. And this part here is going to be 60 degrees. So right now, I'm looking at a special right triangle where that's 60 degrees. This is 2. This is 30 degrees. Okay. And we know in a special right triangle, 30, 60, 90 right triangle, the shortest side, which is 2, the hypotenuse is twice as long as that short side. We can then go do the Pythagorean theorem to find this missing side here, and we do that, and we find out this is 2 root 3. Okay? So, we got to find the area of the base. Area of the base is 1 half, apothem times perimeter. So, 1 half times the Apothem here with 2 root 3 times the perimeter of this rec uh, times the perimeter of this hexagon. So the perimeter of the hexagon, if you remember from before, is the number of sides times the length of the side. So it's 6 times 4, which is 24 centimeters. So the area we'll multiply by 24. Keep the radical in here. It's 24 root 3. That's the area of one of these hexagons. Okay? So we want to find the surface area, which is the area of all the sides. All right? So we're going to do what's called the lateral area. And the lateral area is the area of all these rectangles that go around the sides. Okay, a little formula for that is P, which stands for perimeter of the base, you should write that down, times H, which stands for height of the prism. So lateral area equals PH. Perimeter of the base we just found up here, which is 24. Height of the prism is the distance between the two bases, 10. So the lateral area is going to be 240 centimeters squared. Your surface area, we'll say SA for that, surface area is going to be that lateral area plus your hexagons on either side. Okay, so it's going to be your lateral area plus two of your bases, the area of two of the bases. We're going to use capital B. Capital B signifies area of the bases. Capital LA signifies lateral area. Capital SA signifies surface area. Capital letters are going to signify areas for us. Okay, so lateral area is 240 plus two bases. Well, one base is 24 root 3, so two bases is going to be 48 root 3 centimeters squared. That's your final answer. Don't add them together. They're not like terms. All done. All right, so now let's just do volume here, okay? Volume is a very quick, easy formula. Volume is equal to area of the base. Write that down, capital B. See how this is a capital B, area base? Area of the base times the height of the prism. So the area of the base was 24 root 3 times the height of the prism. Remember the height of the prism is distance between 
between the bases, the 10. So 240 root 3 centimeters cubed. And that's your final answer. Okay? So these are the basic formulas you want to use. Let's try the next problem. We're just going to use the same formulas, same, same exact steps. All right, let's try our regular pentagonal prism. We're going to really mix some things up here. We're going to say that the apothem 8.6. Okay, do you remember what each angle, each angle measures in the regular pentagon? 108 degrees. So when I drop this line down here, and I have this triangle, what does that angle measure in the triangle? That angle is going to measure 54 degrees. Okay, this pentagon on the bottom is the same as the pentagon on the top. This angle here is going to be half the 108. Okay, why am I doing this? Because I want to find out how long this is here. If I find out how long this is here and I double it, that tells me how long each side is. Okay, so we're going to do trig. Which side is opposite 54 degrees? Which side is the hypotenuse? Which side is the adjacent? Which formula deals with this? Tangent of 54 is equal to 8.6 over x. Tangent of 54 okay, well, All this should seem redundant. We've done this multiple times. Solve this proportion x is equal to 6.2481. It keeps on going. Now is where we're going to round. 6.25. So this little part here is 6.25, which makes each side how much? 12.5. Okay? All right, so we want to find the area of the base, which is the pentagon. Area of the pentagon formula, 1 half. Apothem times the perimeter, so one half. The apothem we have, which is 8.6. The perimeter, okay, we're gonna come over here. Perimeter is the number of sides times how long each side is. Well, there's five sides. Each side is 12.5. So my perimeter is gonna be 62.5. Remember, these are all just estimates do this math, we get 268.75, okay? Now remember, next step is to find your lateral area, okay, of our pentagon, which are all these rectangles that are going straight up and down, all right? So our lateral area from the previous slide is lateral area equals perimeter of the base times the height of the prism. Perimeter of the base we just found, 62.5 times the height of the prism. So we just gotta pick a number for the height of the prism. I'm gonna just randomly say, hey, let's say this thing is 17 centimeters. It doesn't matter. 17, okay? 62.5 times 17 is 1,062.5 centimeters squared. That's all the five rectangles we go around the outside. Measures this. So what's the area of all the sides? Well, it would be this. So before we said surface area is equal to LA, lateral area, plus two capital Bs. What did we say capital B stands for? Area of the base, 1062.5 plus two area of the bases, 268.75. So my surface area is going to be 1,600 centimeters squared. Pretty amazing. It works out to be a whole number with all these decimals and all, but remember, this is just rounding. Now let's find the volume. Volume of this would be area of the base times the height. Capital B stands for area of the base. Area of the base, 268.75 times the height of the prism. What was the height of our prism? 17 
which is 4,568.75 centimeters to the third power. Okay, hope you found this video informative and helpful, and I will see you on the next video.